What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is the Needle Podcast, episode 120. 120 straight weeks. Rain, sleet, hail, or snow. We have been here. The Matt emote is live. There it is in the chat. What's up, boys? What is the word? Got the little guy with me. CP2's mail was kind of popping this week. It was kind of popping. You talking, buddy? Are you talking to the boys? Let's see what we got. Got the little, you see me? You see the boys? CP2's mail was popping. We went to the uh, we went to the mailbox today. And I'll do this before he gets too cranky. He's not in for the long haul. CP2, are you in for the long haul or are you chilling? How are you making the noise? And, how are you making noise and no words coming out of your mouth? Come on, buddy. They sent you mail this week. They put in the kangaroo too. Oh, you want more kangaroo? This is the glitch. See? I don't know why he likes that one that much. That's his favorite hold. But he's got his two-month appointment on Thursday. He's two months old. Now, today, we went to the mailbox, buddy. Tell them how we went to the mailbox to get your mail. We went to your mailbox to get your mail. And somebody sent We don't know who sent it. It was just from Amazon. We don't know. So, somebody's going to have to check in and tell us who sent us the Avenger set, bro. All the Avengers. He got every Avenger outfit. Right, buddy? You get to be Spider-Man one day. You get to be Spider-Man. Then you get to be, who else you get to be next? You get to be Cap? You know you get to be Cap. Cap, honestly, is probably the best character. Right, buddy? You see it? Cap Black is, Panther is the best character. Black Panther is not the best character. Yes, you need a Black Panther outfit. Black Panther outfit next. But you have Cap. So you can be Cap, Spider-Man. Now, this is the second best one. Now, the chat can rank. Iron Man. The chat can rank the characters. No. Cap is the best character. If you want... If, if you had a son, right, chat, and you want him to grow up to be like one Avenger character, you would pick Captain America. Black Panther. And then when you're feeling cranky, like you are today, you can be this guy. Right, buddy? You can be... The, now you're looking like this guy. We might have to put this on you right now because you're looking like this guy. So like I said... I don't know who flew in the Avengers set to my guy, but he's fully stocked with Avengers gear. Right, buddy? You can be any Avenger you want. You want to be Hulk? You want to be Iron Man? Or you want to be Cap? Or you want to be Spider-Man? Any single one you can be. Check out the boys. That was CP2 mail. Hulk. He could be Hulk. Hulk was a punk, though. Hulk could not get his mental stability together. He was a mental midget. He was, right? He could not, like, Hulk is not top five for anybody, chat. Now, give me your top five. Cap has to be in everybody's top five. He has to be, right, buddy? Cap was a leader. Yeah, he's definitely in the top He five. was the best leader. Leadership qualities are, are not overlooked in this household, okay? Thor cannot be number one. Cap is nowhere near top five. So, see, Ooh. that's because you don't understand leadership. Cap is a quitter? Cap is definitely in the top five, but Black Panther is definitely over Cap. That Black Panther is not over Cap. Yes, he is. Wakanda. Iron Man, Iron Man is up there. He's top three. Cap is... See, you think Cap is corny because you, you don't understand his leadership qualities yet. All right? So y'all still childish. If, if Cap is a cornball, you guys are childish. Iron Man is not the leader. Iron Man, no. Yeah, Spider-Man is corny. Iron Man, Cap, Thor, Spider-Man, Black Panther. Y'all tripping. Tell him, Cap, Cap is the man. He brought, He's leadership, bro. Y'all don't, so don't value leadership. That's the problem. All right? That's what I'm saying, G-Shock. They don't understand. It might be Cap, Iron Man, then... I, I'm not putting... Thor is, Thor is a made-up character. All right? The other guys are real. All right? Thor isn't even like a human. How can you take Thor over humans? You all right, buddy? 
So you're happy. What Avenger are you going to be tomorrow? That's what we want to know. We're going to make you cap. Yeah, he picked up the Thor hammer. Cap is not made up. He's a real human. You didn't real read the real books? See, that's how I know you guys aren't real Avenger fans. You guys didn't real read the real books. You guys didn't really read the books. Tell them, buddy. They ain't read the books. They ain't read the books. All right, buddy. You ready for bed, bud? Ready for the boob. He's ready to eat? All right, you go with mommy. Here you go, mommy. Take... Say thank you to the boys for sending Avenger gear. Stop being a, a crank. All right, good night. Good night, Daddy. Stop trouble. Good night, Daddy. All right, buddy. Cap is boring. That's because you guys don't like leadership. You guys don't like examples. You guys don't like, you know, that type of figure. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, if you wanted, if you wanted to teach your kid to be somebody, it was Captain America, dude. Let's be honest here. Like come exactly, Eric. See, he knows Captain America. Now, not I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you that he's the coolest, or he's he's got the most drip. You know what I'm saying? Or he's hip, or he's not like he's not a TikTok character. You know, he doesn't tell jokes. He's not for the bullshit, right? Exactly, that's what I'm saying, linebacker. Cap is the guy you want your daughter to date. Cap is the guy you wake up and say, I hope my son is like Captain America. You know what I'm saying? He's not the cool guy. You know, you little teenagers might not like Captain America. You know what I'm saying? The little teen, oh, he's not cool. You know, I like Spider-Man. I like I like Iron Man. He, shoot, he tells jokes and, you know, he gets hoes. And, bro, Cap is not about the bullshit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. He's a newspaper, black coffee, toast with butter type of guy. No bullshit. You think he likes salsa on his eggs? No. He got eggs over light with a pancake, some scrabble, some bacon, shit like that. You know? Toast with butter. Nothing crazy. He doesn't like a lot of no crazy, no flashy shit. Flash, yeah, bro. All right. For, yeah. He wants a drink of water, maybe one ice cube, maybe two ice cubes. Exactly. Cap, yo, once Cap got the hammer, come on, dude. Nah, bro. How can y'all not respect Captain America, dude? He is the he is the rock of the Avengers. For real, for real. But like I said, I don't know who sent this. It had no name tag on it, but... We got my boy the uh, the whole layout. He got he could be anybody. This, I can't lie. This onesie is kind of fire. I'll be honest. This the, the, the Thor one or the uh, Hulk one, kind of crazy. Kind it kind of goes hard. Like I said, somebody grab. I don't know which one of you assholes did it. I appreciate it. If you guys want to send anything to the little CP two or anything like that, it's exclamation point PO box. I'll type it right there. That's our PO box. You send anything, we'll put it on a show. Everything like that, man. Exactly. Captain America is the reason Avengers went down. He, bro, without him, pfft. I'm be honest. I'm putting, I, you guys have disrespectful. So he might rock this tomorrow. He might rock this one tomorrow, to be honest. He might rock this one tomorrow. In fact, he might, he might take, he might take his two month old pictures in this, in this onesie right here. Cause you guys are getting crazy on the Captain America talk in the chat. Like he's not the best. Idiots, bro. Y'all like, yeah, that's, that's cause, that's cause society, we are like a firecracker lights and shiny bright objects. That's who we are, bro. We're not about the grit. We're not about the grind. We're not about the hustle anymore. We're about the flashy lights, flash in a pan type of society. Really? For real. That's what I'm saying. Cap is Tom Brady. Iron Man is Patrick Mahomes. There it is right there. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? CP2 did have his his first touchdown. That was yesterday. You know what I'm saying? He's hot. You know? Measy, what's good, man? But, like, bro, it's... I, I Honestly, let's get into the... Uh, 
I mean, Iron Man is definitely top tier. Is definitely he's definitely top tier. I mean, when we're talking about the top tier Avengers, it's Iron Man, Captain America. That's that is my S tier right there. Nah, I'm not putting Thor with Cap and Iron Man, bro. I'm not. I'm not. And I'm not putting Black Panther up there. Come on, bro. I'm just saying the top tier is is Cap and Iron Man. That's the top tier. That's what I'm saying. Thor is not with Cap and Iron Man. No, he's not. He's not even close, honestly. Yeah, one EMP, Iron Man is toast. Facts. Hulk? All right, now now we're just saying anything, boys. Come on now. We can't throw Hulk in the mix. I'm a super American, bro. I am a super American. I'm proud of America, bro. And I know we've been in some bad times, all right? But shit, yeah, I want to beat the other countries in, in every sport and every Olympics. Y'all don't root for America? Shit, yes. Hulk can't die, bro. Yeah, I'm just saying. I know we're in some dark times. And I don't want to get into dark, dark times because it's not that type of vibe. But yeah, shit, I am a super American. That's where I was born. I feel like it kind of, you kind of, it's where you're from is how you represent the rest of the world, really. I don't know. If you're Canadian. I mean, I Hulk was a, Hulk couldn't figure it out, bro. Remember when, when, when CP2 cries and I say figure it out, Hulk could never figure it out, right? When was Hulk ever clutch? Hulk was never clutch. It was so many moments where it's like, yo, wake up and beat everybody up, right? But he never would show up. Yo, Hulk was a lay down. I'll be honest. Hulk was a lay down. No, Hulk was a lay down for real, for real. Bro, he was never clutch, bro. Hulk was a tease the whole time, bro. Hulk was a lay down. Deadpool is fire, but I feel like Deadpool is a joke. Deadpool is like more of a, a, a comedy, bro. Hulk was a lay down, bro. I like Captain America, bro. Nah, chill. How could we be fuck Captain America, bro? Damn. All right, I don't fuck with all the all the all the all the punk ass, the Wandas and the Red Scarlets and all that. Y'all got all them side ass characters, bro. I don't do side characters. I like the main big. Give me. I told you, Thor. It's, it's Captain America and it's Iron Man. Then, then below that, you can do Thor and Hulk and everybody else, bro. And I, I and I want to end this. And I want to end this before one of y'all come in here and say Captain. Oh, uh, Captain Marvel was the most powerful Avenger of all time. She's better than everybody. No, I don't watch WandaVision. Somebody's gonna say it. And some. I know my chat. I know you guys. I know you guys. Somebody wants to say, here we go, look. Somebody wants to say this shit. Kept, Captain Marvel really is the strongest. She can do anything. There goes Superman. I read the books for sure. I don't I don't know none of this shit, bro. I just know Captain America's a leader. I like leadership, bro. I don't know anything about superheroes. I don't know anything about galaxies. All I know is leadership, bro. As a as a man, I respect leadership. I do. I respect a strong character that keeps his cool and is not overly emotional at, when it's bad or when it's it's good. He keeps a steady a steady attitude the whole time. That's Captain America. I like the Captain America leadership, bro. That's what I like. <laughs> Alright, first of all, Deadpool had the most bullshit squad. Alright, show. Bro, alright, you want some whole you want some whole uh what's my man name? What's the donations gift? <laughs> what's boy name? Oh shit. <laughs> donations. Gifts. <laughs> he wants some whole, whole on some bro. Oh my god. Rico, what's good, man? Doctor Umar, right? <laughs> he wants some whole wild shit. Yeah. 
Dr. Umar, bro. That's so he on that shit. I just like Captain America because he a leader, bro. That's all. I just like Captain America because he a leader. That's all. I don't know how many unbanned requests we have. It really wasn't that popping. I don't think I really, uh, my man, Leo, Leo, South America, Madden leader right there with five gifted, bro. All right, y'all just saying, come on, man. Come, we'll see. We will see. It might be popping. It might not be popping, but enough of the, we have been 15 minutes on Avengers. Thanks to you guys sending my boy Avengers stuff. My man, Leo's a legend, but I do like Captain America just because I like I like leadership. I respect it, bro. Whether it's portrayed, whether it's not. See, I I I live my life, right? This is how I live my life. I like to take the positives out of everything, bro. You know, if you spend your time looking at all the negatives in every situation, bro, you're going to be a negative ass person. You know, even if the positives are 2%, you know, I'm going to go with the positives. I'm going to find a way to spin it positively. Like, I'll be honest, you know, the Eagles, the quarterback situation was not good last year, man. But we got rid of Wentz, and they said, well, how do you feel about it? I said, you know what? I'm going to say shit. Jalen Hurts might be a Hall of Famer. Who knows? I'm going to spin my way to find the positive of it. Because I like to live I like to live a positive way, bro. That's just how I like to keep my mindset, really. Because if you keep it that way, you're going to be a positive person. And the world needs more positive person, bro. That's how I feel. I'm in Milo in the building with nine months. Let's get it, man. You know? Now, I'll be honest. Now, Captain America is a strong white man leading the Avengers. But Brian Dawkins was a strong black man that was like one of my heroes my whole life. So I really, I mean, shit. Now, Allen Iverson, also one of my heroes. Not the best hero, but, you know, a little bit different. Allen Iverson, Brian Dawkins, completely different people. Completely different leaders, right? Right? When you see Brian Dawkins and Allen Iverson, you say, shit, one's a leader. One's Captain fucking America. Brian Dawkins has traits of Captain America. He does. Whereas Allen Iverson, he was more Deadpool. That's what I'm saying. Right? Hmm. JJ Watt is the most Captain America ass athlete. Hmm. I don't know. Luke Keekly is Captain America. AI was Deadpool. He was. Though, Allen Iverson was my favorite athlete, right? Right? But the older I get, the more I realize he was bullshit. For real. Like, the older I get, the more I realize Iverson was bullshit. He didn't give a fuck. Right? He really didn't. He just went out there and balled, bro. He ain't work on his game. He ain't give a fuck about his teammates. He ain't give a fuck about leadership. Bro, he didn't give a shit. He ain't, bro. He just, the reason we loved Iverson, right, is because he just balled. Like, yo, he, and it's crazy to say we like people because they care. Allen Iverson didn't really care. But once, like, he got between the lines and, like, a, a switch flipped on and he went, yo, he went 99 per, or 110% every game, every play. Really? No, Allen Iverson was an asshole. Allen Iverson didn't give a shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you see Kobe, rest in peace to Kobe, you know, great player, right? It's about Kobe gave a shit about his game, about getting better, about improving, about being the best in the world. 
AI just, bro, he was just God given 1 million percent. Let me just go out there and ball, bro. Allen Iverson is a good, I don't know if Allen Iverson's a good guy. I just know when he was a kid, he didn't, he, or when he was a player, he didn't give a shit for real. Yeah. 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 You know, and, and as a kid, as a kid, in my, as a teenager and a teen, a preteen, all that, when he first started, I was like, bro, this guy's awesome. Cause you really didn't know like human life, adult life when you're that age, right? You really didn't know. So you just, you just went with it. Like, bro, Iverson's great. He shows up every night, bro. He balls out. He's my favorite player. He's my favorite athlete by far. No one will ever pass out an Iverson for me. Ever. I, that's impossible. Because, one, I'm not a fanboy as much as I was when I was a teenager. But, you know. But he'll always be my favorite athlete like that, for real. Yeah. No, I'm I, I, I see Ben Simmons I, I just understand life a little bit more than 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 I did when I was a kid, for real, for real. And I understand like, all right, this guy didn't give a shit, you know. But this guy had the heart of a lion, but he had the brain, he wasn't that smart. I don't know if he wasn't that smart, but he just didn't give a shit. <sighs> And that's kind of when AI, once AI lost one step, like once he lost a little bit of his step, he was cooked, bro. He was cooked. AI was cooked after like 10 years. After he lost that one step, bro, he was cooked. Most people do give a shit. I'll be honest. I mean, bro, the best players give a shit. Like, <laughs> bro, LeBron is LeBron because he, bro, he cares OD. I, I, of course I like Diggy, bro. Iggy was a great third player, bro. The problem with the Sixers was he was going to be, they made him be the starter. And people get so caught up with how much they pay people. Like, do, you don't know how this world, how sport, people still have no idea how sports works. Like, the Sixers fans are so, all they talk about is how Tobias Harris gets paid. Like, of course, man, you had to pay him. He was a free agent. You already let, Jimmy Butler already left. You can't let your whole team go, you know? You got a guy that's, that can do a little bit of everything. Like, you're going to keep him. And that's what people get paid in the NBA. They get paid stupid amounts, bro. Spencer. Spencer Hall has balled a couple years, bro. I'll be honest, bro. That uh, Doug Collins Sixers team, I don't know if you guys watched. Uh, obviously, you guys watched Un, what was it, Uncut Gems. Is that what it's called? With Adam Sandler, the gambling movie. You got to overpay an NBA. That's just how it works, man. Got to overpay an NBA. Uncut Gems, right? The uh, Celtics, obviously Kevin Garnett was in the movie, but they played the Sixers. That Sixers team was tough. I was a fan of that team. That team had, didn't have a lot of talent, but they fucking balled, man. Doug Collins was a hard ass, bro. He They balled. I was proud of that team. Now, they wouldn't have been in that second round if Derrick, Derrick Rose didn't get hurt, but they took, but they took, they, 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 they fought. They fought. Drew Drew Holiday, um, Iguodala, Lou Williams, they fought, bro. Yeah, Uncut Gems had you, like, anxiety, right? Now, I'm not the biggest gambler, but, bro, like, Dad Young, just they just fought, bro. And, 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 like, I remember they lost that game seven, if you guys remember. I don't know if there's any Celtics fans or Sixers fans. They lost that game seven. We're going on, like, 10 years. I, I, that might have been 10, 12 years ago, but. They lost that game seven because Rondo hit like two two threes. And back then, Rondo couldn't shoot at all. And Rondo hit two threes to pretty much seal the game. And uh, I remember that. And that's when I, you know, when you lose like that, you lose like that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Uncut Gems had you sweating like, bro, how how he in this spot? Like, like this guy is sick. Like, this guy is sick. Yeah, so I definitely enjoyed it. But anyway, we say all this. When now we're on a half hour intro of of what we're talking about. I don't know. I don't know how we got to AI because AI was not Captain America. You know, LeBron has more Captain America feels than than AI. 
right? Who is the who is the Captain America of NBA history? It's not Larry Bird. He was an asshole. Y'all want to say Larry Bird because he's just a white guy, but Larry Bird was an asshole for real, for real. I don't, I don't remember Jerry West. That's too old for me. It's not Jerry West. Come on, man. Somebody said Tim Duncan. I think Tim Duncan was a little bit uh. AI was Fat Thor. Yes, AI was Fat Thor. Kobe, Kobe could be Cap a little bit. Tim Duncan was he? Tim Duncan wasn't. Tim Duncan was just boring. Come on now. I don't think it's Duncan. Captain uh, Apex Captain America would probably be, uh, I don't know, maybe Gibby. <laughs> maybe Gibby. Derek? No, I don't think. I think it's LeBron. I really think it's LeBron. I do think it's LeBron. Captain America, bro. Kobe is a little Iron Man. I can't lie. Kobe, because Kobe, Kobe was arrogant, but great, like. I don't I don't think LeBron is arrogant. I don't. I never think LeBron is like cocky. Is that am I wrong for that? I don't think LeBron is like ever a cocky asshole ever. I feel like like Kobe was way more arrogant than LeBron. Yeah. I mean that was a young LeBron. You're right. He was a little crazy back then. The decision, the decision, ah, yeah, decision LeBron, yeah, but I think LeBron in the last, like, since he went back to Cleveland, I think he really changed, he got a little older, I think he became, like, LeBron has become the, like, dude, dude, well, we're never gonna have, a, I, I bet people said this all the time, we'll never have a Jordan, we'll never have another Johnny Unitas or Joe Namath, we'll never have another Gretzky, which they haven't had another Gretzky, but uh, to have another LeBron, like, this dude is, like, I don't want to say the word perfect, but bro, like pretty damn close, you know, I don't think there's any way to hate on LeBron anymore, man. Like for real. Zion. All right, Alan, you're done. Alan, you're done for the rest of the podcast. Submit your unbanned request. He, he said Zion, submit your unbanned request. You can't talk anymore, bro. Like, what? Are you just saying shit? Like, you're not adding nothing to the show, man. My man Evan, the DJ, nine months. Best DJ for the squad. That's the need of gaming DJ, bro, for squad. Yeah, LeBron, LeBron's, uh, LeBron's arc, as they say, as a character. I mean, his arc is just like, bro... Because you can't lie. I don't know. Give me an age check, chat. What's the age check? I'm 33. I'm almost 34, right? When LeBron was coming out, they hyped him up so much. Where my 30 plus in the chat, bro? I feel like you got to kind of be 30 plus. At least 25 right now. Now, listen. When LeBron was in high school, they were already sucking his dick, right? And I've told you guys before. Bro, when they start like... when. The more people get their dick sucked, the more you want to hate on them. It's just natural human nature. Like, you want to play devil's advocate. Like, ESPN was pumping this LeBron high schooler to us when we were like, like, bro, like, enough. Like, no, he's ass. Like, he's not going to be that good. They hyped LeBron through the roof. And it naturally made you like, nah, nah, he's going to be ass. He's going to be ass. He's going to be ass. Let me naturally hate on him. And he surpassed all the hype. Yeah, he surpassed all the hype. For real. They tried to help. They tried to hype up everybody. They honestly there was nobody even close. The only other person I can think of to get that hype in college was OJ Mayo. OJ Mayo was the next one up from LeBron. If you guys remember, like I said, I'm almost 34. I'm a little OJ Mayo. OJ Mayo had the hype in high school. It was like OJ Mayo is going to be it. He's going to be next, but
I don't think it was nobody in high school. Like, if, I'm talking about from high school. Like, y'all talking about people like Kyle. I'm talking about high school. OJ Mayo was ne- the next LeBron. For He was the next one. Like, OJ Mayo for, in high school. I can't even remember, like, high school player. Like, now it's a little... Now everything with social media, everything... People get highlighted. People get hyped up from everywhere. You got to think, back 15 years ago, it was not popping for a high schooler to go crazy. Like, Zion and all these people, like... Jabari Parker, I, there, I it was nobody like AJ, OJ Mayo, bro. For real, for real. In high school way. Sebastian. Well, Sebastian Telfair, he got so much hype because... Just because of... What is it? He from Brooklyn, right? Telfair was definitely New York. I'm not, yeah, even, like, like the last five years, like, I don't want, like, people from the last five years, like, like I said, social media just changed it to where everybody's kind of getting piped. Yeah, Sebastian Telfair was kind of, like, supposed to be the next Marbury, for real, for real. Because Marbury was, obviously, uh, Coney Island, all that shit, like, na- like Marbury made this shit out, out of, like, you know, like, out of Brooklyn, you know, so. Then, uh, whatchamacallit, Sebastian Telfair was kind of next up, you know. Yeah, New York definitely caught that caught that vibe, bro. Yeah. Eddie Curry. I remember there was a show I used to watch, Eddie Curry. It was a show. I don't know if it was like High School Hoops or some shit. It was it was on like the Philly Bullshit Philly Sports Station. High School Hoops. It had Eddie, Eddie Curry on there. Eddie Curry was definitely hyped. Yeah, but you think about all these players sucked. But LeBron? Not that they sucked. I mean, I, some dudes were kind of tough, but <laughs> high school hoops. Eddie Curry. I forget. Was it Preps? I don't remember what it was. I don't remember who else was on there though, bro. It was a couple players on there too. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can we talk about Madden? I mean, you know, the show kind of revolves around Madden. Vos knows. It was a big week in Madden. It's another big week in Madden. Although I don't really know how to sign. I know how to sign up for DC. I don't know when it's scheduled and all that stuff. I honestly really don't know. Um... I really don't know when, um, yeah, if you guys have any, any, um, Vos, any Vos emotes, put some Vos emotes in check, because Vos popped up, you know, he, he, he made the Final Four on Xbox, and we'll talk about the Final Fours, there was a regs tournament this weekend, the next tournament is DC, and we'll talk about that mode in a little bit, we'll talk about that mode in a little bit, Bot Wars might have prepared Vos for the big time. Now, I'll be honest, he hasn't really won Bot Wars games, but he, he won enough games to get to the Final Four. Now, I'll be honest, I was asleep. I did not watch that Final 64 um, Xbox. I did not. But I was told he beat Noah, which to me, I wanted to bet on Noah to, or Vols to beat Noah. And I believe he beat a couple other decent players. Um, but I would not have voted for, or I would not have bet Vols beat Noah. So for me, that that's super impressive. You know, he beat Ghost. Now, I would think Ghost is uh I would I would still put Noah. Noah is like Noah's kind of like one of the favorites, really. Ghost is good, but I think Noah Noah is pretty Noah is one of the favorites. Yeah. I, I don't think Ghost on Rags, I don't think Ghost is on the uh Noah level, really. Um so I definitely think that's impressive. You know, when you beat Noah, uh Noah is probably easily top five, especially on Rags. And, uh, so that's impressive. That's impressive wins. Um, you gotta get some credit. Now, I know we laugh at Vols a lot. He's a laughable person, you know, and there's nothing wrong with being a laughable person. I'm a laughable person. I don't have any hair. I'm old. You know, everybody has their laughable traits, right? Everybody has it. There is no hiding from your laughable traits. And I think the key to life is, is kind of embracing your laughable traits, right? Like, who, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. Because it, if you embrace your laughable traits, what can people say about you? For real. Ain't nothing they can say. And listen, when, when if you guys are out there struggling with your hair, 
You know, I was trying to hold on to my hair for like two years easily, right? Trying to hold on. It was, I'm telling you, like, I was like, you ever saw Die Hard when Hans is like holding on to the, the, the lady's wrist and shit? That's how I was with the hair. I was like Hans Gruber holding on to the her wrist about to die on Die Hard, right? And then once I once I let it go, once I let it go, I realized you embrace it. And then people say you're bald and it's like, okay, right? Yeah, once you embrace your negatives or you embrace your laughable aspects, they really, they have no more ammunition, you know? That's what I'm saying. Jay Raz, you got to, bro. Holding on by the wise facts, man. My man Colts with the gifted scoresman in here with the prime. Let's get it, man. Really? So, uh, but, you know, Vols has done it. And, and one thing about me, man, I'm attracted to uh, hard work, man. At least uh, persistent. I, I, I feel like this field of content is a, oh, man, it is a draining heart nonstop, dude. It is nonstop. Next, 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 next. What's next? What's next? What's next? And for me, I I, I am intrigued and I am uh, impressed by people that don't stop, you know. And Vols has been doing really good uh, grinding and it's paid off for him, for real. Uh, this this field is not the easiest one to... to I mean, I, I hate talking negative about... Because we still play video games. So, you know, I, I'm a person that worked for 15 years. So, I, I know what it's like to work. So uh, I, I hate ever saying anything negative about the Madden life or the Madden grind because it's still video games. So uh, that's a super smile, right? Um, but it is a taxing, taxing field. It is mentally. And uh, he's done a really good job grinding and, and, it, and he finally popped up. A lot of times um, when you're like on the cusp, as we say, the precipice, the cusp, um, it's a stressful thing because you put so much pressure on your stuff, on yourself. Um, and when you put so much pressure on yourself, I, I need to win and I'll start popping more. This will help my brand. I remember Madden 18. I thought that I was like, yo, I need to win. I won last year, but I need to win. It'll help my brand so much. It'll help uh, everything going forward. Let me lock in and I got to win. And I remember making a live event in Madden Classic. I remember the joy that I had of that. And I feel like Vols has that same joy from making the final four of this classic. So good for him. I'll be excited to watch him. Now he beat he beat Noah. He beat Ghost. But now he faces Mickey Mouse. And I'll be honest. If you li line me up all the top 10 MCS players, I think Mickey Mouse might be the last one I'd want to play on that list. You line up the top 10 MCS players in the history of the MCS. Mickey Mouse is uh is what you call it probably the last one that I would want to face on that list, bro. For real, for real. You know, uh, the final four on Xbox, and we'll move on because I do want to talk about Mickey Mouse. Uh, yeah, Mickey Mouse is yeah, I don't know. So if he knocks, but he knocked off. No, he knocked off. Goes Mickey Mouse. Obviously, we're talking about Drinny, who um is the second best MCS player. Uh, behind Skimble, of course. Um, but Drenny is, bro. Y'all know me. I'd rather play Skimbo than Drenny. But, you know, it's crazy to think that. Like, I feel like Skimbo is the best. But i still rather play Skimbo than Drenny. You know, and uh, what I was going to say. Uh, so, we'll see how Vols does. Um, the final four on Xbox is Vols, Spoto, Drenny, and Wesley. And then the final four on PlayStation is Journey and Wesley again with six cents. And I believe, oh, what the fuck? I forget this shit. I just had it. And Prodigy, Prodigy, of course. Prodigy, the, the silent, bro. Yeah, Prodigy just like, just consistent, consistent. But Prodigy, he won um the last live event we ever had because of uh, COVID. He won the dream hack. Just been consistently solid, chilling. Uh, just probably just silent, just do his work and get it done, bro. He's really good. Um, so, but I really want to talk about Wesley and Journey. Like we spend so much time about how negative this system is and how hard it is to be a pro player, just depend on competing, bro, that we don't give enough credit for the people that are killing it, dude. 
right? Hey, bro. These two kids made the Final Four on both systems. That's insane. You know what? And we talk about how hard it is to be to be a competitive player pro time. Bro, not if you're Wesley and Drinny, right? Those guys are doing a pretty goddamn good job, right? Maybe they're just that fucking good. And sometimes you just got to say, you know what? Those guys are different. Those guys have, have what it takes. They're really good. I'm going to give them credit instead of complaining about how hard it is to be a pro. Holy shit. If I'm Wesley or I'm Drenny Joe, man, you know what? I'm good enough to be a pro. You know what? And th- th- therein lies the skill gap that we complain about in Madden so much. How the fuck can we complain about a skill gap and two of the best players in the world made the Final Four on both systems? That's insane. All right? And I just want to make sure we know that that's insane. For real. Has West surpassed Kiv? No. <laughs> no. No. What would it take for Wesley to surpass Kiv? A lot, honestly. I don't know. It would take a lot. But Wesley is like, Wesley is really, really good, bro. I told y'all about the Wesley stock. It's still, I mean, I don't know. I I really think it's impressive what they did. And I think uh, we we spend too much time being negative on how hard it is to be a pro player. And sometimes you just got to highlight, like, bro, these kids are goons, right? For real. The best player with no belt. Top five best players with no belt. Let's go. Wesley, Clef. I mean, D. Croft is D. Croft, D. Croft, D. The Croft man gotta be creeping on the list. The Croft man gotta be yo. I don't know. The Croft man gotta bro. The soup lord books, Bugatti books. I mean, if we're talking all time, problem got to be probably number one because of how much success he had. If we're talking all time MCS without a belt, but if you're talking right now, like who's the best players that don't have a belt to play right now? Um, it would definitely be uh, Wesley, Clef, Croft, maybe Henry Fantasy. That's a good list, but. You know, but if you're talking all time MCS, then bugs and, and problem got to be up there for real, for real. No, that's a good argument, but I, but there is no belt for this tournament. This tournament is, uh, this tournament is, uh, what you gonna call it? <sighs> it's a reg tournament. I mean, all these kids are young. I don't know which one is young, bro. I don't know which kid isn't young. <laughs> like, I, I keep looking at these kids play, and I'm like, holy shit, I'm old, bro. Do I think Trey is going to be on the top? Um, He just got to put it together. I mean, a lot of this, honestly, you got to put it together. You got it's a lot of players that are good, man. It's about being able to just put it together, put it, put some good games in a row. Like you know I'm saying, that's what's impressive about it. Like we're talking about a, we talked about all the time single elimination, best of three. We need best of three. We need double elimination, bro. Tip your cap to two kids that put it together and did not lose. Figure it out, bro. I like. I think figuring out and putting it together are kind of two different things, bro. You know. Do I think I'll make a run like that again? We just got to put it together. I just got to put it together. That's all. Play some good games. That's all. Make some right calls. Execute, really. Figure it out, put it together, bro. It's figured out for real, for real.
I mean, best of three are cool, but I just, I just like the adrenaline of that one and done, bro. One and done. That's the adrenaline, bro. The one and done, the adrenaline of one and done is unmatched. It is unmatched. Yeah, one of the, the adrenaline is just it, bro. Show up, get it done, bro. I really don't think I, I'm not for the uh give second chances, dude. Is it harder to win right now because of no live events? I mean, not I mean, no. I I I don't know. I haven't I haven't uh gotten that far in a tournament to know what it's like to play with no live event, you know, uh Maybe some people wouldn't be able to play as good at a live event. I really don't think it affects that much. I would go on to say and say it's not that big a difference. You know, maybe some people are more comfortable at home in their own chair. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Second People that want second chances just didn't get it done the first time. You know, that's how I feel about it. Madden is definitely more comp and sweaty now. I I would agree, agree one million percent is because, it because gaming gaming is a job now. Gaming is so many different fields, so many different careers. I think gaming in general in the last five years has absolutely skyrocketed, um, and it's way more sweaty, one million percent. Whether it's Madden, whether it's Call of Duty, whether it's it's Animal Crossing, all this stuff is way sweatier now because. It's so many more eyes on every bit of Madden, really. You can play all game, and play, but that's how Madden has always been. People have always won and lost from fluke. It's always been like that, man. As much as it sucks, man, it's what makes it... It's what you remember. It really is, man. They remember Gene missing a field goal. They remember 40 dumbass not calling timeout or letting the clock run out. Like, they remember shit like that. They're like, fluky stuff. That's what football is, really. Yo, and the more... It's crazy to say this. The more... I don't know, bro. Fluke is definitely in every video game. I think Mutt being the preferred mode is a good thing. I do. And as we'll talk about DC, I really just wanted to adamantly say how impressive it is for both of those kids, Wesley and Journey, to make the Final Four in both systems. I honestly don't think we have, like, it's actually a good job. Shit. You know? Like, I, I honestly can't say enough about it. My man, Diesel, 28 months. It really, uh, it's really impressive to me, man. Oh, yeah. But, uh, as we go on to talk about DC, now, my biggest, uh, I, I, I do feel like my biggest, I feel like DC is ignored. You know, I, I really do feel like it's an ignored, it's an ignored mode. It's an ignored part of Madden, right? I feel like the attention that they put on this draft champions mode is lackluster. You know, I am, I will probably be the biggest fan of draft champions you guys will ever run into me. I will be the biggest fan. If it has an ounce of credibility, an ounce of... I will hold on to it, and I will always be a fan of Draft Champions. I love the random playbook. I love the random players. I, I, I honestly have always done good at it. I have always enjoyed it. I've always loved freestyling. I've always loved cooking up a new offense with a new playbook. I think, honestly, being able to redraft this much has ruined DC. It's really pointless now. What's the point if I can redraft a bunch of times? That ruins... The, the random part of it. Now, I know this is the most RNG mode in Madden, but it's not every mode. It's one tournament. Now, I feel like this year, one, the, the drafts are pretty shitty, but I played yesterday, and I have never lagged that much 
during Madden games all year. I have the new Xbox. I have the Series X. I play Mutt. I play Rags. I play more Madden than anybody. I have not lagged that much playing the game in a while. Now, I don't know if that was one game. I don't know if that was one night from DC. One night. Maybe it was only one thing. RNG is random generated numbers just something like that rng means luck pretty much what luck do you get oh you got aaron Rodgers and i got you know alex smith or something like that that's what rng is you know um they say it they say it uh yeah they say it from uh whatchamacallit they say it on uh battle royale games who falls down and gets who falls down and gets the best loot for really yeah, I felt like DC was really laggy. Now, I'll probably play a little bit more tonight, and we'll see. Yeah, that's the RNG. And that, that obviously, from a competitive standpoint, is bad. But I just feel like if you play enough DC, you know what? Maybe I'll be the one that comes on top of the RNG game, you know? And sometimes, you'll have the shitty draft, you know, and you'll be shit out of luck. I mean, it was worse. It was way worse back in the prime of DC. Prime DC, 16, 17. Prime draft champions was way worse, man. It used to be way more RNG, everything. Unlimited redrafts is the worst thing you can do for draft champions. It, it, it ruins the whole point. It's like... Now, I'll be honest... Between the lag and the and the absolute like, I, I just think they ignore the DC mode. I, I think they don't put their energy into it. They don't put their effort. But for me, um, I I want to say this, bro. It, it's not too late to switch this tournament to mutt. You know, I I I I don't think it's too late to just say this is going to be a mutt tournament. And I think we would all sign up for that, right? 15 or fifty thousand dollar mutt tournament i think we would all sign up for that you know i don't think it's too late um i don't know i and, and i i have no problem no matter what mode it is i really don't you know i i, I really don't care i i i'm not a crier or whiner I've always loved, I've always loved uh, draft champions. I think the unlimited draft just makes it ass for real, for real, for real. If DC had Gunslinger, yeah, it would be pretty dope. It'd be pretty dope because man coverage wouldn't be tough. It would be okay. Man coverage is still usable. You know, you don't need one steps for man coverage to be that tough. I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I honestly do think the more they draft, the more you can redraft, the worse the worse the mode is, for real. The more you redraft, the worse the mode is. For real. Drunk Games, I'm really close to banning you. I'm really close. Honestly, your next your next comment needs to really be something un asshole -ish. Exactly. That's all it is. It's, I'm, I'm going to redraft so I get Seattle. I'm be honest with you guys. I am going to redraft and so I get Seattle playbook. It has everything. It has bunch tight end. It's got some decent trips. It's got bunch. I'm going to redraft so I get Seattle. That's it. For real. And honestly, I'm going to redraft so I get Seattle and I get a decent team. Because fuck, if I get Seattle and my team sucks, I'm just going to keep redrafting. I'll spend an hour drafting. Doesn't take me long to draft. We're going to start all day. For real, for real. I, I could do I could do 50 drafts in an hour. I'm going to find one with Seattle and a, and a good team, right? I'm going to get Brett Favre, Seattle. Exactly. Exactly, Mundo. I'm going to do it because they let you do it. For real, for real. Yeah. Reset, 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 reset. Eh, now I get like a team I'm kind of cool with. Eh, reset. I'm not I'm not playing until my dick is hard from looking at my team. That's it. I'm not going to play until I'm fully erect staring at my team. That's it. I got to be horned up looking at my team. And it ruins the game. It ruins the mode because of that. 
And I don't know why they think this shit is cool. Like, that shit is acceptable. I don't know why. PA boot for life. Yeah, everybody's going to be PA booting. Yeah. It's just, it's just not. It is what it is, though. We'll see. And Madden players say pros need to be pro. Yeah, we they will be pros, and they'll wind up being the best. I won't be surprised if Drini, Noah, Wesley, and J Wall are once again in the Final Four of this one. Right? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Shit. Yeah. The classic draft champ should always be the first tournament because one, you really don't know the game that well. There's no meta. There's no great playbook. You just you're freestyling and you're learning the game. Draft champions in Madden 16 made me a better player because I had to learn the game. I had to learn the basics. Draft champions is who is the best at the basics, really. Yeah, the unlimited drafts are ass. But we'll see how it goes, man. I, redrafting is really just absolutely terrible, man. Well, if signups are over, I'm not in it. So let me go try to sign up. Where do I go to? I did not sign up. Not for this one. For the classic, I didn't. What? Well, I don't even know where to go, bro. Let's see. Oh, uh, when do the ladders start? Madden Challenge, baby. Saturday, March 13th. What is that next this week? Next weekend? Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Only 300 players. Date of birth. Old as shit. Am I the oldest player in this tournament? Anybody older than me playing chat? Anybody older than 33 playing in this tournament? Thirty-four more. Okay, okay, okay. Check in. What's the age? What's the age? You guys are all right. Full name. Player full name. That's a hell. That's a hell little name right there, huh? All right, I'll fill out the rest later. Y'all ain't gonna see my. Y'all can see my email. Y'all ain't gonna see my. I'm saying. Six six nine nine, bro. Hit me up. Did I mess up? Oh. Address is right here, boys. If you want to send anything, this is my address right here. Boom, P.O. box right there. Send it in. Drunk Games, I swear to God, I just want to ban you. Like, I really just want to ban you. Like, for real, I really want to ban you so bad, bro. I like I like this guy. Drunk Games, honestly, I... Like, he's, like, one million percent just a troll. Like, he's really just a troll. Like, he's really just, like, and he don't shut the hell up with the troll, bro. Yeah, get him out of here, bro. He's funny. Dude, that's a, he's a funny guy. Drunk Games is funny. Come on, bro. That dude's not funny. He's not, bro, he's like a, I'm telling you, I swear to God, I feel like every troll is, like, Vos or some shit. Like, that's definitely Vos. That's just how I feel. Like, yep, that's Vos right there. That's Vos. Confirmed Vos.
Unless the Vos lurk. But, I mean, we'll see what DC is looking like, man. I'm going to play it more. I, the thing that pissed me off the most about it is that, bro, it was laggy as hell yesterday, man. Maz, I don't know how to sign up. I, I, I want to say I use PayPal. I don't know what I use. Trolls, Jesus. Owen Nordquist. Oh, my God. Yo, have you ever seen somebody with a bigger name to get bullied? Like, yo, if you're in class, you know how they call everybody names. Someone say, yo, Owen Nordquist. Oh, my. That's like, you might as well have bullied me on your forehead. Vols is actually striving in the new America where we can't bully, right? Because Vols is, what, 16, 17? We haven't been able to bully in, like, 10 years. He survived, and he's thriving. And credit to Vols for thriving in the non-bully error. Do I, should they bring back bullying? Yes, Celtics. Yes, there has not been a leaderboard in Madden since Madden 18. There hasn't. There dead ass hasn't been one. Oh, Owen Norquist. Owen Norquist would it? Listen, he might have thrived though. It might have changed him. It might have changed him. Who knows how he would have responded to bullying, bro? Who knows? Who knows how Owen would have responded to, to uh, what you call it to bullying? He might. It might. It might have made him thrive. He might have thrived in the bully. He might have thrived in the bully era. Am I in the yard tournament, Corey? Do you think I'm in the yard tournament? <laughs> in fact, the only people that aren't in the yard tournament are me and Skimbo. So. Uh, we were thinking we're just going to play our own yard games on su Saturday since we're not in the yard tournament. Why can't me and Skimbo be in the yard? We would have been a good team. If you get me, me Skimbo, and a YouTuber, we might have won. We might have won, but they didn't want us in the tournament, bro. I'm hell at the yard, to be honest. I'm actually like comp at the yard. I'm actually comp. Actually comp. Joel, I, they didn't ask us to play, bro. Listen, man. Me and Skimbo, I, well, I, I can't speak for him, but me, I am open to helping EA with all their promotions, all their games, all their uh, <coughs> tournaments. They need ideas. They need commentary. They need somebody to support. I am arms wide open. Arms wide open like Creed, right? Is it Creed? Arms wide? Like, please, I want to help. But they just, we get ignored, bro. I don't know. You know, we get ignored. Creed, eyes wide open. Shave my own head every day, bro. I shaved it today. It looks crispy. I used the Barbasol. Barbasol. I couldn't be the new Kralo. You know how much they would... They, to be the new Agent Dub, to be Agent... Oh, my God. It would be comedy. I'll be honest. If they made me the agent that does Good Morning Madden, bro, we would get like 10 times as many viewers. How po you guys would set your alarm to wake up and watch me do Good Morning Madden. You guys would set your alarm. One million percent. Y'all would all be in that joint. Dying. Just dying laughing. Oh my God. Yo, yo, it would be the best content. It really would. It really would. But I don't know. I See, now, the yard tournament. Now, I think I think we're going to have our own yard tournament for the streets. I think we're going to have our own yard tournament. Manny, what's up, man? Dump truck. Hand in business. What's up, business? What's up, business? Good morning, Madden. I, know, I could go good morning, Madden, without cursing, bro, easily. I really could. It's not difficult. Good morning, Madden. Good morning, Madden. You got to be a real dweeb to watch that. I mean, the needed, the needed squads format might be it, to be honest. It might really be it. Why am I not an announcer for EA? They don't want me, bro. 
I mean, all, truth be told, they're little, they're announcers. They do good. They do good. I don't know how much I could improve anything. I don't know how much I could improve. Now, I would want to be a part of the yard tournament because I, I could make it popping. You put me on a yard team with anybody, bro. Like, who? Give me the two most boring Madden players. Boogs and who else? Who's the other one? I, it would be popping. Me, Boogs, and who else? Drinny? Me, Boogs, and Drinny, our team is popping. No, Vos and Salty are not boring. Not Trey. Fancy and Blocky. Whew, boy. Andrew with the bust out. You put me, Fancy, and Blocky, we're the most popping team by far. Honestly, I would just start talking for him. I would just change my voices. Like, when it's time for Blocky to talk shit, I would just, like, change my voice. Like, yeah, bitch. Yeah. Bum. Bum-ass team. Then, 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 then Fancy comes in like, yeah. Yeah, bum-ass. It's TNC. We're winning. Then I come in like, yeah, bitch-ass team. Yeah. Now Blocky comes back like, yeah, bro. I would just start talking for him. Like, fuck it. Y'all don't want to talk? I'll talk for y'all. Y'all just sit back and play. Carry me to victory, bro. I, I, I could carry that team. I could entertainly carry that team. Yes. There was nobody I could not carry on the entertainment side. I don't know. It's just, I panic. I can't do that many voices, bro. I can't do that. I'm not capable of doing that many voices. My blocky voice was a little, yeah. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> I don't know if he'd say bitch. I don't know what he'd say. Yeah. You like that? And then Kirk Cousins say, you like that? I don't know. I can't do that many voices. Oh, I can do the West thing. Eh, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Me, Blocky, and Fancy would go crazy. Because we would win. Like, we would dominate. And I would just talk shit for him, bro. Why would I do that, W? W, why would I do that? <laughs> like, yo, Wesley, get back on defense. Uh, why, why would I do that, W? <laughs> Yo, a delay obviously. I I I could do the Jaybird voice. It's crazy. I could really do the. Yo, my delay obviously sounds just like Jaybird. Delay obviously. Come on now. Come on. Come on, salty. I calays. I calays. Wing trips. Deuce close. Trips tight end. <laughs> delay obviously. Jaybird's the man, bro. Bro, that's why I'm telling you, bro. Madden, bro, what I hate is when people say Madden doesn't have personalities. Bro, there's tons of personality. Every Madden player has a personality. It's about it's about bringing out the personality, bro. For real, for real. For as really everybody has a different personality. No, I, dude, I been, I know Wesley is tough. He just got to put it together and, and go on a run, really. That's a good point, JRC. Boom. EA doesn't have a personality. JRC with the bust-out comment of the podcast. JRC, you win 100,000 channel points. I don't know how to give you 100,000 channel, channel points. Twitch, if there's a way for me to give viewers channel points for bust-out comments like that. Twitch get into it, bro. But that that's right. He's right. EA doesn't have a personality. The man players have personalities. That's why Bot Wars wins, bro. Bot Wars is carried by personalities, right? By all of us. What's going on, bro? Why are we, why, yo, why are we, we, why, yo, anybody else, thank you, Jehovah, anybody else, anybody else that copy pastas is literally just, just banned. That's it. You're banned. I'm telling you right, for the rest of the night, banned. No, honestly, the problem with EA and personalities is that it's not always the same people all the time. You know, that that's the biggest problem. You know, like, you kind of know, obviously, Joke's been at a lot of events, so you kind of know his personality, Kiv, like, those guys, Drenny, those guys, you know those guys, right? But, 
with tournaments when it's it's kind of new players all the time, it's kind of tough, you know. Yeah, that's what's crazy. I feel like dullest being dull is kind of a personality, right? And you can kind of bring that out. Like you can kind of highlight somebody being dull if you do it the right way. Really? Z Farls. Farls is the man, bro. Farls is the man. All right, boys. Madden, I don't think they're going to have live tournaments, bro. Although EA did pay for that studio, so they're definitely going to want to put that into use. So we'll see if they're like if they're in a hurry to bring live tournaments back. And I also don't know if it costs them more or less to do the in-home tournaments. I'll be honest, they're probably going to go with whatever costs less money to fly all these people out to their studio or fly the equipment to the players. You know what I'm saying, chat? Whichever one's cheaper is probably going to be their ultimate goal or their ultimate choice in the tournaments. Host an Apex tournament. How do I do that? I would love to do that. <laughs> I would love to have my own team. I would love to have my own Apex team um, that competed. I would love to. I honestly might invest in, in a team, honestly. For real. I, I, I got to keep looking, you know, uh, but... We'll see. I want to really venture out into other games. Not necessarily playing, but supporting them, really. That's one of my one of my eyes that I see. Whether it be Call of Duty, whether it be Apex, whether it be Valorant. Maybe the Wint Goat Valorant team. I don't think you can make private lobbies of Apex, bro. For real, for real. I don't think you can do it. Yeah, when's the Valorant Pro, bro? Am I am I rocking with Eduardo and Ward on Apex, bro? It might be an Eduardo Ward type of night. Orgs get them. We're an org. Let's go right. Let's throw a tournament. We'll put some money up. We'll put some money up. I mean, I'll be honest. The Apex tournaments, they really don't be for that much damn money. That all these pros be playing in? We could do it. Crowdfunded. It's squads tonight. Me, Clef, and Trey told Drenny get two people. That's what we told Drenny. Bro, Rob, Apex is lit. See, this is why Rob, my partner, is he 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 doesn't like Apex because he's a boomer and his fingers don't move fast enough for it. All he is, all Rob is, is a corner peeker, counter strike player, and his fingers don't move fast enough to play Apex, so he hates on it. <clears throat> See, look at him, Valorant. See. He's a corner peeker. His fingers don't move fast enough. Comp Apex is insane. It's insane. Yeah, Rob is a League of Legends type of guy, bro. He just, he corner peeks. I would love to uh, just get into any other game, really, more. But me, personally, I like Apex the most. Apex, obviously, sports games, too, bro. I wish I could get into 2K more, really, but. Who's Buddha? Who the hell's Buddha, Slater? Yeah, I gotta get Touche. Touche is like one of the biggest streamers in the world. Comet. Would I rather eat a... I'd rather play DC. If it wasn't laggy, I would love it. I gotta go watch some... Uh, DC is a mode of Madden. It's a Madden mode. It's a little slower. It's a little more boring, Rob. That's all. 
We cannot get Siwoo on Bot Wars. We cannot. He is banned on Twitch. I even talking about him will get me striked, okay? Do y'all want me to be on YouTube too, dying over there with Siwoo? Do you want that? Is that what you guys want? Stop talking about him. How many times do I got to tell you this? Jesus. Be over there with 20 viewers. 20 of you guys will make it there. No, it's not it's not that deep, show. It's not that deep. I don't think bro, I don't think I can get any of these guys, bro. I'm not a this is how I feel, bro. This is how I feel about y'all say, yo, go get the Apex streamers to help you. No, because you know what you sound like? The little body ass streamers that are in my my DMs trying to get me to help them with their Madden shit. Build it. If you build it, they will come. That shit, no, I swear to God, Tok told me that shit when I was playing in Madden 17 Bowl. Tok told me that shit. For real. Like, bro, just grind. Show them you have some type of product before I be like, yo, Touche, bro, I want to do a tournament. Come host it. What the fuck? If you build it, holes will come, bro. Facts, bro. Toke was a huge streamer. Toke was like the biggest man streamer, bro. Y'all don't like the squads tournaments? Y'all don't like us playing squads? We be locked in on squads, bro. We be locked in, bro. That shit is fun. I don't know. I don't. Maybe I don't like it. I don't know. I like it more than I like playing mud head to head for real, for real. Y'all tell me, bro. Would y'all rather watch mud head to head? I, I, you know, as a, as a, as a gamer, I like playing this shit more. To be honest, I like playing squads more. All right, would y'all rather watch squads? Like, all right, I'm about to turn the podcast off. We're about to do unbanned requests. Would y'all rather watch squads or would y'all rather watch my head to head or would y'all rather watch DC? If y'all could watch me do anything in the next four or five hours, what is y'all pick? That would make y'all like I'm locked in for four hours. For real. What, what would make y'all say I'm locked in for four hours? Seriously. MLB Bot Wars. I see. Oh, we could do MLB Bot Wars. I see a lot of squads. A <laughs> new game. All right, let's go. Gears? 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 Bro, you know what killed Gears is that Vilma and Trey was kind of ass at it, bro. You know what killed Gears? I was the best in the squad. Nobody wants to play a game when I'm the best. For real. Turn on song request. Nino Brown, I've never seen, I have never seen a worst time channel point redeem right there. I have never seen one. That is such a bad redeem that like, bro, I, yo, you, you are now banned for the rest of your life. Like Nino Brown 187 is banned from redeeming channel points. He's just banned. Chat, remember that name. Somebody write it down somewhere. At I'm really about to write it down right on my desk, literally with a pen. Nino Brown 187, banned for life. Like, how bad was that? Am I wrong? Like, how mist mistimed was that channel point redeem? Like, how bad was that, dude? Like, are you you gotta be living under a rock? That's not under a rock. That's under a rock, under the dirt, under the moss, under the stones. That dude is in China. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that dude is lost in the sauce, bro. <laughs> that dude is lost. <laughs> that dude was just searching like, oh shit, what does this do? He might have hit it by accident. Oh, man. Check his message history. 
Oh, man. Yeah. Rob, picture me playing a song on the podcast, bro. Just so I can get taken down from freaking YouTube. Look at J-Raz. Look at J-Raz. Isn't J-Raz a streamer and, uh, you know, he's trying to grind Madden and now he wants me to pay for his sub to my channel. That This is exactly how to just be in my good graces, man. Just getting me to pay for your sub to my channel, J-Raz. Def definitely going to just support the shit out of your channel going forward. Yep. Definitely going to do that. Can't wait. Can't wait to check in on the J-Raz sub. The J-Raz streams, bro. Just can't wait. Talking about he sold the bag. He sold the bag worse than fucking get Mo get money one eight seven or whatever the hell his name was. Yeah, we just selling bags all over the place. Nobody want nobody want to do shit. Nobody. It's just a bunch of stupid ass people out here, bro. Bro, raw dog. What's up, man? How you feeling, man? My man, raw dog, been a little sick. Put some hennies up for raw dog. Hopefully he get better, man. I hope you feeling good, raw dog. The OG. My man Rico with the five gifted, man. Put some hennies in the chat for Raw Dog. Hopefully you feel better, man. I hope you're good. In the hospital, bro. My man Raw Dog said he had like 104 fever, bro. Facts. Hey, AS facts. A lot of salesmen in the podcast right now, bro. A lot of sales. <laughs> Look, a lot of salesmen, bro. Yeah, hope you get better. Chi Chi Rito, what's up, man? Double ammonia. That sounds nasty, bro. I, I've never had to do say. I'm a hen rock guy, bro. I'm a hen rock type of guy. Oh, J Raz, now he's gifting a sub. Don't try to come out. Don't try to come out from your bullshit. No, that's what we're not gonna do. We're not gonna just try to redeem our our failures. <laughs> Too late. Facts, Ted. That's what I'm saying. Gus. Hey, Gus. Change your name to Gus. I'm not, bro. Ted Gus. There's two different. No, I'm not a do say guy, bro. I'm a hen rock. I'm a hen rock. Hen rock, bro. Gus got length. Big poppy Gus. Might go crazy. There it is. Eduardo, listen. If you ever need a rebrand, go hit up Eduardo. Big poppy Gus. My man Tim in the building was seven months, man. Champagne is champagne is bold. I'm not a champagne guy. My man Billy Ho coming in hot with the 15s. Tim J. Rodrigo. Bro, we are hype training mid pod. Let's get it. Juice Reels. Juice Reels is hard. That yo, Juice Reels? Yeah, that's hard. Juice Reels. Favorite Snoop wine? Is there multiple Snoop wines? Blitz, Blitz, how are you 16 asking me about Snoop wine? You're just asking any fucking question mid pod. All right, we gotta go to unbanned request. It's getting real nasty right now, bro. The 16-year-olds are just asking, favorite Snoop wine? There's one Snoop wine, bro. Jesus, we got to go to unbanned requests early here. Didn't know it had to go this early, bro. It's getting real nasty, J Money, bro. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what preempted this, man. Favorite four local flavor, whichever one was available. I was not a big uh, four. I'm not that I was a big preference of four local is my point. Definitely big four local, but... Did not really have a preference. Do I use any CBD products? I do not. I actually have one Madden YouTuber. I'll let you guys guess. Sent me a lot of, or not a lot of weed, but some 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 good loud pack. I need to get me a bowl to go ahead and indulge. It's not, you can't put this loud pack in a blunt. You can't, you can't do it. Was it Gut Fox? It might have been Gut Fox. I don't know. Who knows sent that? Snoop? It could have been Snoop. Could have been Scomo. I do not use beard oil. I don't I don't believe in that shit. I don't believe in all the pretty shit. Listen, li listen, man. And you're a man. It's the way the Lord made you. Alright, you ain't gotta be out here trying to be extra pretty and stuff. Pretty soon you'll be like Kiv with all the different conditioners and hair products and shit like that. Like, come on, bro. Do you think John Wayne uses beard oil? Do you think John Wayne, you know, uses conditioner? John Wayne uses different gels and shit. Matter of fact, do you think Captain America Uses hair products. Just ask. Captain America don't give a shit. Captain America puts that shield on and gets busy. That's what I'm saying. Nah, bro. That's what I'm saying. That, that's what I mean about Captain America. Y'all didn't believe in Captain America? Let's go. Cap is the man. And that's where, that's where the podcast all ties back in together. You know what? This is how you do a show. Who else does it like this? 
Who else has writing like this? The show ties all back in together, man. J Money, my guy with the gifted. Tell you, who does a show like this, man? Mod view. Let's see what we got for the unbanned request right now, boys. Let's see what we got. 11 new unbannies. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dollar gets paid is on here. Drunks Games Brother. Oh, man. It's it, This might get nasty right here. This might get nasty, boys. I'll be honest. This might be the nastiest version of unbanned requests we've had. 12 now. We have 12 unbanned requests now. There it is. Bro, I need to, like... Bring back Drunk Games. He ain't do shit. We'll see, boys. We'll see what it's like right here. Boom. There it is. He said, bring back Drunk Games. Smoothie. <sighs> I mean, this guy's a, a big supporter of the stream. Look at him. He's like rooting me on right here. He got a little crazy with this one right here, bro. Smoothie. Let's bring my man back, bro. Bring back Smoothie, bro. Smoothie back. Faye. Uh oh, here we go. All right, see, see, I don't, listen. This is a Twitch chat, an app where you talk and chat to people around the world and learn new things. How can you ban someone from a public chat and meeting new people? Your mods are fucking garbage. Black Lives Matter. Faye. I, I. Faye has been following since July for almost a year. Mods are garbage. I will tell you that. A train. I did copy pasta. Only reason I should come back is that I copy pasta before you said bands were rolling out. My man A train, this is a good guy. You know why A-Train's a good guy? He'd be watching my other streams of other games, bro. Ban Vos, Ban Vos. A-Train has never been subbed. He's only been following for like a week. Been following since February 20th, 2020. A-Train's back, though. He's a good man. Jehovah Drunk Games brother. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a fan of the Drunk Games guy. I'm sorry you guys truly are my brothers, and I really have been a fan of yours the past few years, Dubby. My wife left me and took the kids, and I've been lashing out. I didn't mean any disrespect. My son's friends all play mad and watch your streams, and I really thought proving myself on your stream would make me cool in their eyes, but it honestly backfired. I would love a shot at redemption. Bro, y'all need to stop believing this shit, bro. Hold up. That, no, that was the copy pasta? I didn't even read it. This was the copy pasta? Jesus. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> I'll see you later, bro. Dollar gets paid. LeBitch sucks. I will never like LeBron. Switching teams just to win rings. LeBron is the baby face of the league. Refs give him every call. Rigged ass LeBron league is the reason NBA numbers are down. Bro, Allen. Yo, put everybody put Allen in the chat with an L. I need Allen with a capital L in the chat. 
That's what I need. Capital L with Allen with a capital L chat. Yeah, I need Allen with a capital L. A lot of Allens. Are, it's Allen with an A, too, not Allen with an E. It's A-L-A-N. That's even worse. A-L-A-N. Yeah. Real, real L's in the chat. That's it, boys. That's it, boys. Thotty on Ja. Way too many pit bulls. Way too many pit bulls. Thotty on Ja. Ja. Or can we talk about the, the amount of pit bulls you put in my chat? Throne played this guy. Watch his last video. Throne played this guy. I did. I, he kind of he spammed it too much, bro. He he kind of no. I ain't denying my man. My man thought he on job. I ain't demanding, but he got a little crazy with the the. Bro, he told me that, bro. I'm Hitler's great grandson. Who is this guy? Once he said, bro, I can't. Nah, bro. No, nah, we don't do the Hitler grandson jokes, bro. We don't do that, bro. That that shit ain't funny. Okay, a lot of baggy Simpsons. See, I hate this guy came in hot with the is W menu streamer. Come on, bro. I can't like well, I'm supposed to just be in a game as soon as I go live. I can't look at the menu. He went crazy. Bro, figure it out, bro. Figure it out. You're unbanned, but figure it out. Kamungus cock. Kamungus hawk. What's his name? Y'all can't even see it? Oh. His name is Kamungus Hawk. Oh, there it's a Kamungus Hawk. Good rebrand? He's been banned for two months. It was Blitz. Blitz is a kid, bro. Yo, he was gone, bro. Look, 9 20, 2020? Like what the fuck? Then he came in hot on 2000 uh, on January. Let's let him back, bro. Let's see what he got to say, bro. Gunshots. I don't like this guy. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like this guy, bro. Let me be real. I don't really like this guy, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really like him. But he wasn't too bad, so we gotta bring him back, bro. We gotta bring him back. He wasn't too bad. He wasn't too bad, so I can't I can't ban him for life, bro. Come on, though. He wasn't too bad. We give him a little more life. But I don't like that guy, bro. I don't like him. I don't like him. But if I liked all my viewers, I wouldn't have as many viewers. I'll tell you that right now, chat. Sometimes you got to embrace the people you don't like. That's what these streamers don't don't really know, bro. Joke ban somebody. Okay. Okay. A joke ban. Okay. Bust out joke ban in the chat. Guy, this guy got to get freed. I want to tickle nuts. <laughs> Where's that bum serious mo? <laughs> well, Alright, this dude might be hell dark and nasty. Hold on. Oh man. Dark and nasty. I I, I feel like I feel like uh dark and nasty might be a dub here. Fuck Allen penis liquor. What is this? Do we let this ban user? Do we like what is this? Hostility? Auto mod? What is this? <laughs> Alright, where are we at? Unban request. Here we are. All right, all right. Ink Sully. What is this?
My pet goldfish, Sully. I hate Sully, bro. Dark and nasty. I'm sorry for making Shaq Griffin jokes. I'll be better. When was this? I mean, where's that bum serious Mo? I don't even know when this was. I can't even scroll up enough to see when this actually was. 2018. 2018. There it is. Let him in here. We're letting him back. I, I, I need this guy to come in hot, bro. My man Amar's in the building with the sub. NBA, young boy to goat. Hold up. This guy's saying some wild shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo. Use it too old for this shit. Use it too old. What did Ray Ray do? This is how you go bald. <laughs> User got a full head of hair because he walks through life blind. <laughs> what? Journey, stop capping, dude. Damn, y'all is old. No hair, good comms. The GOAT, NBA young boy, GOATed. There it is. No more unbanned requests, bro. User has a full head of hair because he walks through life blind. That might be the comment of the night, boys. That might be the comment of the night. It's AJM. What's up, buddy? Thanks for joining us. I see you have that Twitch Prime logo next to your name. You can use your Twitch Prime sub here for free 99. You don't have to spend anything. Why not use your Twitch Prime here for free? If you two in the chat have a Twitch Prime, you can sub to this channel for free. Absolutely free. Give me that Amazon money. I would love it. I don't know if you're doing anything with it. You're not doing anything with it. You get a free Amazon sub. Toronto versus everybody. All right, this kid's getting banned so fast. I hate that Canada guy. That joysticky Jamal Adams season. That guy, I hate that guy, bro. He just comes back worse and worse. My man Beanard in the building with the Prime. There it is. Just use his home. Just use his Twitch Prime. How much did Beanard pay for that sub? Beanard, what did you pay for the sub? Nothing because you have Twitch Prime. Let's get it. Good job. Free 99. Plebes need. Yeah, that dude. Yo, he. I'm going to be honest. He's not allowed black to, back till he gets a new name. He needs to get a new name. Silent J, Twitch Prime. How much did Silent J pay for that sub? Zero dollars. Free 99. Thank you, Silent J. You are the MVP. There it is. Clo We're closing back in on 2,900 subs. We're closing back in on 3K subs. Squiddy, Twitch Prime. There it is. How much did Squiddy pay for that sub? Zero dollars. If you two have the Twitch Prime, you could sub. Or you could just sub tier one for the five dollars. Now, that's what I ask you. Are you guys going to tune into the EA Yard Tournament this weekend, Saturday? Are you guys tuning in? Is that a yay or nay on your Saturday night, the EA Yard Tournament? Yay or nay? Let's be honest. Some of you might watch it. Clef is in it. I don't know. I'm, I'm not getting no, no yays from anybody. Okay, AJM in here. Patriots fan with a yay. Maybe from Kobe. Okay. Nobody watches. Nobody will watch that. My man Resney with the gifted. Let's go. Damn, big nose. Okay. Now, what event could we throw on Saturday night that you guys would rather watch? If me and Skimbo played a seven-game series, would you guys watch us play Madden? Yes or no? Now, now that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying, their their tournament is from 
6 to 10 p.m. We could play for four hours. My man Shani with the gifted. Let's go. We're trying to think, you know, what event could we throw? You know, I want to throw an event. I'm an event specialist. I know what you guys like to watch. I'm the reason you guys watch, why they watch. I'm trying to think, what would you guys watch other than a yard tournament? I don't know. I surprise bot wars. Emergency bot wars. Why well, can't we can't play squads because Clef is not available. Clef is playing in the yard tournament. Bot wars tryouts. Damn, Vos. Big L, Vos. You didn't miss much, though. We didn't talk too much. You still have work to do. Bot Wars video application. Is the Bot Wars... Oh, Shani going crazy with the three. Okay, JT giving out the gifts. So let's go, boys. Listen. Bot Wars video applications. WRL, chat. I need video applications. I need to see the personality from these Pishani with the five yifties up to total 50 gifted. Bot Wars video applications, bro. Big Yerp with the five gift. Are we going nuts on the pod tonight? Bot Wars video applications. I think we just... Where do we do the video applications? Do we do them on Twitter? Max length is a minute on Twitter. Or like two minutes. Do we do them on Twitter and just show the tweet? Do I do them secretly and so you guys don't see them? If I do them on Twitter, if I do them on Twitter, you guys will see them all the time. You'll be able to see them when they're, you know what I'm saying? But if I keep them secret, then I can break them out. You'll never see them, bro. Someone's going to show pipe. <laughs> oh, a designated email. Shiny with three more yifted. Big year with five yifted. Oh, y'all going crazy. Let's get it, man. 30 second self promo. That's what it's going to be. Because I'll be honest. I kind of have who I want to be in Bot Wars already. I think I have one spot open. All right. We're gonna have we're gonna have Vos, Bobby, Salty, and Earl. They're locked, locked back in the next Bot Wars three. But the next four that are competing for the spot, my man Rico with five gifted. We're going crazy. The next four that are competing for that spot, Bobby Bangs is back. Bro, Vos, don't worry, fucking worry about the don't worry about the production. Vos does too much talking to the production. All right. I, it might be an eight-man tournament. Who knows? Oh, my man, JT going crazy. My man, Razni with more gifted. We're right at 2,900 subs now. BG needs to come back. Does BG come back? This one, Gus versus Ward. Is Gus part of the tournament? We have to have Lou has to have his shot. Lou has to have his shot, chat. Can we agree on that? Lou has to have his shot. Lou has to be in there, bro. Lou has to come back. Ragusa? Lou is Bot Wars. Lou, yeah, Lou, Lou gets in there, bro. Y'all want BG back? He got popped. Maze. Ooh, Maze might be bust out. But is May I feel like Maze is bust out. But would Maze compete? Like, would he be able to, like, put up a fight? (laughs) 
Mays versus BG, would that be bust out? Little man needs redemption. It's a lot of bro. And we need the one spot open for the video, for whoever applies with a video, bro. Whoever applies with a video, we need one spot open. Little man is in the ghoulie mandoli. Let's try new people. What about me? Faye, didn't you just get unbanned, bro? Who wants to watch Faye Go Zane play, bro? <laughs> oh, man. The Bot Wars. The Bot Wars application videos. I think we could break them down. My man, Big Yerp with another five gifted. Big Yerp going crazy tonight. Up to 42 total gifted in the chat. Put some demons in the chat for my man, Big Yerp. My man, Resney. JT going crazy. Rico going crazy. Shunny's going crazy. A lot of vibes tonight, boys. Big demons in the chat. A lot of demons. A lot of demons in the chat. MMG. Now, I was going to reach out to MMG because, you know what? He's not on the, he's not on the EA calendar. He's not. They didn't ask him to be in the yard tournament. MMG is the biggest Madden star in the world. They didn't ask him to be on, on the yard event. So I said I might have to reach out to MMG and get him on Bot Wars for Saturday night and say fuck their little yard tournament. Just saying. Gut Fox, Bot Wars? Gut Fox might be a secret boss, bro. The den would go crazy. A Cornstein application. Yo, that's what I'm saying. Gut Fox and MMG could not win games on Bot Wars, bro. I don't know. <laughs> the den on the tweeter. Yo, the den on the tweeter would be crazy, bro. Any Madden getting played tonight. Sean, no. Just go watch somebody else, dude. Please. Fuck it. Silver bed sub. Fuck it. Damn. The Den? Zan versus BG? Bot Wars would hit number one trending. The Barry set is still profitable. Jesus. If Fox is a secret boss, bro, I'd listen. It could happen, bro. It could happen. It could happen, bro. No, honestly, I I, I can't put together a uh, I can't put together a bot wars by uh, by Saturday. I don't think I can. I probably could, but I haven't really thought about it. I haven't really put a theme together or anything. I don't know if I could put Bot Wars together that fast. I haven't reached out to my bots to see if they're available for Saturday. Yeah, I feel like you need two weeks of a build-up for Bot Wars. I think you need two weeks. I think two weeks is... Uh... Nah, we can't rush. We can't rush Boss Bot Wars three. We can't. We gotta build a strong load. Facts, Eduardo. You gotta build the load. You gotta build the load, bro. Yep. No need to rush anything, bro. Next bot wars doing during the classic fun. No, I don't want to do that. That's corny at all. CC secret boss, bro. CC's so afraid of competing that it's scary. Like he's so afraid of the shit. Like CC opens the closet and sees a man tournament and runs away, bro. 
CC is the biggest waste of Madden talent in the history, bro. He's the biggest waste of Madden talent in the history of Madden, bro. Like, CC is good, but he'd rather be Scomo. That's what's sad, bro. That's what's sad. Like, CC wakes up every day and say, how can I be more like Scomo? When he could be a club winner. Sad, bro. There he is, see? Sad. Sad, bro. CC makes me mad, bro. No. No. Bro, CC's good enough. Bro, CC's good enough that if he put a couple couple games together and, and tried a little bit harder, he could win a he could win a or he could at least make a run that y'all would watch him and be hype and root for him. That's all. Like, and what's crazy is, this is what I never understand about the, the coin guys, right? Right? So, CC got a coin sponsorship. Cool. I would play the tournament until they tell me I can't play no more. Remember when Savage went and they kicked him out of the tournament? That was like the biggest story of the year. Bro, imagine if CC made a live event and then they kicked him out because of coin sponsorship. That would be the biggest story of the year. I don't know, bro. Content. That's right. TZ, content. Exactly. Biggest promo. Yo, he, yo, his coin sponsor would double after that. Yo, CC's coin sponsor would double after that. I don't know, but the... I might give CC too much credit. Maybe he really is that ass, but I don't know. You don't know if you don't try, bro. Dude, I'm gonna play in every tournament until I literally can't play it. Until until I literally can't make it. Until literally my fingers fall off. <laughs> like I <laughs> It, the the fun for it for me is worth it really Journey what's up you got two people or what Journey hey chat Journey needs two subs to play with him in squads tonight Journey hey chat speak up now or forever hold your peace whoever wants to play with Journey the Joker Joe man he needs a head coach he needs everything bro Vos boot up Journey is picking up Vos and Earl for squads. Vos, boot up. We need you. Wesley, are you playing? Wesley, Vos, and Journey. That's a three right there. Wesley. Wesley, Vos, and Journey. Bro, that's it. That's the three. Chat, put W's on right now. Wesley, Vos, and Journey. That's it, bro. There it is. There it is. Elite team. Let's go. That team is... Yo, let's get it. <laughs> oh. Wesley's a walking snooze fest. That's, oh, there it is. They ready. Let's go. My team is ready. Trey was in. I know Clef is in here. Trey is in here. But this was the Nita Podcast. Journey and Wesley both here. Like I said, bro, we have done so much bitching about competitive Madden being a pro. Those two dudes are absolute studs, man. And they deserve more credit than we actually give them, man. And I hope, and honestly, this is what it all kinds of into. Those guys should be winning hundreds of thousands of dollars, really. Now, Jay Wall did win his 150K, so God bless, or his 200K, really. So he definitely is a stud this year. But I mean, Wesley and Journey, it's sad that they, it's sad that Journey and Wesley could walk away waking what, like what, like 12K, right? What's the least amount of... Hey, Journey, what's the least amount... If you lose both games, like, what's the least amount of money you... Go ahead. Uh, What's the least y'all could win right now from making Final Four? Or how much did y'all make from making Final Four of this tournament? It's sad. Because I, I think it's tough as shit to do. It is tough as shit to do. 4500 So, they could if they both lose, they could make 9000 bucks. That's the problem, bro. Yeah. 
That the, honestly, the 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 feat that those two guys did to both make the final four is definitely super tough. Like really, that's but that's what it is. You know what you're getting into, and th- I mean, listen, nine thousand dollars is pretty damn good for a, a month. You know, let's be honest. I I I would take nine k a month. Chat, would you guys take nine k a month from playing a video game? That's the the biggest problem is one. The biggest problem is we need more of these shits, right? We're getting more thousand dollars. We're more we're getting more thousand dollars, right? Thousand dollar tournament Monday, Wednesday, thousand dollar Monday, Wednesday, shit like that. But man, we need more of these fifty K, you know I'm saying maybe once every two months, throw one of these fifty Kers, four of these fifty Kers. Sully, that's right. That's right, Sully. And every Madden player knows what they're getting into before they get into it. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You dig? But this was the Need a Podcast episode 120 episodes. How many How many years is that? Two years is 104 weeks. Almost two years and three months, something like that. You know? Do I ever reach out to EA? No. No, because you know what I realized? I don't need them. I'm winning anyway. What Denzel is saying training day, you could shoot me. You can't kill me. I'm winning anyway, bro, for real. And this is what I said earlier, bro. There's not a single streamer out there that was made from EA. There's not. EA can't make shit. EA cannot make a personality. EA cannot make a streamer. They cannot make a career. They cannot do it. They can't do it. They don't have the power to do it. Not one person. My man Ted with the prime. My man Brad's in the building with 14 months, bro. Vos, Journey, and Wesley. Oh, my God. Denzel did not die in that movie. That was a mirage. No, he did. But I'm winning anyway, right? Shit, that's all. Bro, they cannot make a streamer. They can't. They can't. But anyway, this was the Need a Podcast episode 120. If you're on YouTube and you're still here, we are, what, two hours in. We're at the two-hour mark right now. We got a minute and 37 seconds to the two-hour mark hits. If you watch here, man, leave your cash app, leave your PayPal, whatever it is. I know a couple of you guys leaving some comments that you guys watch this during work or you're on the road, wherever it is, man. I appreciate you guys. Even if it's only 10 of you guys that watch this on YouTube, whatever it may be. But I appreciate you guys. Um... And I hope you're watching my other content, other places, man. But I love talking about Madden. It is my life. I played a lot of Madden this weekend. I hope you guys watched it, whether it was the Rags tournament, whether it was squads, whether it was playing skimbo, whatever it was. I had a blast this weekend playing Madden. And that is why I'm here because at the end of the day, we talk about all these games. I truly love playing Madden. That's why I like it. I like talking about it. I like watching it. That's what my passion is. That's why we're successful. And we're about to play Journey, Wesley, and Vos in some squads so if you guys missed it make sure you guys are tuning into my stream every night 